All right. Well, a um, little frustrating thing. I started to try to edit a video today and Resolve wouldn't open. Now, I had just upgraded to Fedora 43 just yesterday, the day before, and um, hmm, something broke. And I am not the only person having this problem. If I look out on Reddit, you'll see somebody saying, hey, Resolve isn't working 43. Somebody's got a guide up to fix it. And then other people are like, hey, this thing, this thing's broke, right? Since Fedora 43. Um, now, if you look at the fixes, and one of them's been posted on the Fedora discussion by Bob490, Bob George, and one of the others on the Fedora Reddit, both have identified that it seems to be a Python problem because apparently Resolve uses Python for some stuff. There's also some stuff with Wayland, but here's what I had to do to get this thing to work. I did not do any of their script stuff. I started to look into it and I thought it was a Wayland problem, but that didn't fix it. So for me, what did not work was this QT, QPA platform, XCB, that did not work. Uh, I didn't try the GL threaded optimization thing. It did seem to be just a Python error alone. So if you've already got things working, here's what I would suggest trying, if not the rest of the stuff that these people have identified. So number one, make sure that you have Python 3.11 installed. I actually did already have that installed. Whenever I ran this, because it's like, oh, maybe I don't have the right Python installed, I did. I, I already had these installed. So now that you are looking on my screen, I have Python 3.11 installed. Whenever I go to run Resolve from this launcher, it's gonna take a second, it just closes and errors. So with that, what about the one from my desktop? And this is the one that I fixed, and I'll show you what I did here in a second. Once I prove to you, this will work. No problem, right? And if I open up a project and this video you're watching, right, I've already got the project created, everything opens up. So let me fix the other launcher and I'll show you, yes, this is what's broken and how to fix it. So number one, do make sure that you've got Python 3.11 already installed. So this one is not working while this one is, okay? And that's because I've already managed to fix the one on the desktop. So what I need to do to do the fix is find where the launchers are that are here in the menu. So I go out and I go into the root directory in my file browser, and we're gonna go into user and we're gonna go into share, and then we're going to find applications. Where is applic There it is, applications. So this is where all like the, the start menu launcher stuff is, right? So I'm going to find right here is the one for Blackmagic Resolve Desktop, and I'm going to edit that file. And so you can see in here, I have tried the, the QT, QPA platform stuff, and that did not work. So what will work? So let me delete this, and here's what we need. We need to type LD underscore reload equals usr lib 64 lib python 3.11.so.1.0 and that's it all right basically all this is doing is saying hey environmental variable when you go to run this program use this library right and so i'm pointing it to the python 3.11 library and that's it so i'm just going to save this have to do the pseudo password, close it. All right, now if I try again from my launcher, that works. So uh, that's what I would try. Again, there may be other problems. Other people have been saying that they've got other problems. This is the only problem I had. I already had the right Python. I just had to tell it to use the right library. So once again, for wherever your launcher is, and I think you could probably do this as a system thing too, but like up here on my desktop, if I go into properties, application, you can also put this right there. So there's little environmental variables and you see the same thing. This is why this one would work and the other one wouldn't. They're actually two different launchers. Environmental variable LD underscore preload equals 
forward slash USR, forward slash lib64, forward slash libpython3.11.so.1.0. Give that a shot. Hope it works. So listen, I, I hope this works for you. I didn't really figure all this out myself. Again, there's stuff on the Reddit forums. There's stuff on the Fedora forums. I tried a few things. This is the one that ended up working for me. So it looks like with the new Fedora upgrade, they've changed some stuff. And so maybe going forward, it might work a little different. If you got any other comments and suggestions, please feel free to leave them in a comment down below. If you had to do something else to get it to work, maybe you can help somebody else that stumbles across this video. Anyway, that's all I got. Thank you.